Okay, so now let's try considering um, conduction through a hollow sphere. So, I've tried my best drawing a hollow sphere. So, kung mapansin nyo, parang siyang sphere na hinati natin sa gitna just to show you what's inside. Okay? So, in that case, dun sa ating center region, so, meron from this um, point going to the inner diameter or could just say na inner um, boundary nung, ano, nung ating sphere we have r sub 1 then may thickness siya nadadaanan natin so after na is our r sub 2 meaning yun na yung ating pinaka outside na na kung meron tayong bagay na actual yun yung ating nahahawakan technically no? so ganun pa rin siya magta-travel if if yung ating T1 is higher than T2, then dun mo travel from inside going outside and then vice versa, no? So, yun na question, yung sunod natin is, how can we find the equation para masolve natin yung mga conduction through a hollow sphere? Using Fourier's equation then same lang din siya, no? U over A equals negative K and then BT over DX. And likewise, yung ginawa natin before sa ating Remember, di ba, sunod natin siya, um, yung ating hollow cylinder, meron tayong area. So, with that, kailangan natin hanapin kung ano ba yung area ng ating sphere. So, isa lang naman yung area ng ating sphere, no? Kasi palabas lang siya, eh. So, the area is simply pi a uh, 4, sorry. So, the area is simply 4 pi r squared. So, yun lang naman yung area ng ating sphere. Eh. So, with that, we can now substitute that to our area. Um, 4 pi r squared and then equal to sa negative k dt. So, with that, yung ating dx is hindi na siya dx kundi dr kasi magta-travel yung ating heat from radius 1 to radius 2. Okay? So, in that case, let's just separate the variable. So, we have Q and then dr over 4 pi r squared. And then, we have negative k dt. So, we can now integrate this one kasi kagaya ng ginawa natin sa hollow sphere, we have r sub 1 and then r sub 2. And then, this one is from t sub 1 to t sub 2. Now, since this is, since Q over 4 pi is constant, we can now just factor them out. I mean, um, it's not included kasi R ang ating differentiating variable. So, whichever, so whatever the variable is, basta hindi siya yun yung differentiating variable, so, malalef out siya as a constant. So, um, bale yun ay rule ng integration. No? So, we're left with dr over r squared. So, the integral of dr over r squared is simply, the this is, this literally means na yung ating dr over r squared is equal to um, dr so dr over r squared is literally equal to dr um, r raised to negative 2 and then dr so kung i-integrate natin itong portion na to so what we'll get here is dr over um, the integral of dr over r squared is simply gagamitin natin ang power rule which is negative 2 plus 1 over negative 2 plus 1 which makes this r raised to negative 1 over negative 1 okay so in that case we have here negative r raised to negative 1 evaluated from r sub 1 to r sub 2 okay and then this one is simply equal to negative k and then t evaluated from t1 to t2 now, we can just um, substitute the limits. So, we have Q over 4 pi negative. So, we have um, multiplied with 1 over R sub 2 minus 1 over R sub 1. Kasi, mga pansin nyo, this is R raised to negative 1. So, I can just simply write it as 1 over R. And then, this one is equal to negative K and then T sub 2 minus t sub 1. Now, we can just simplify this further by taking out all the negatives para hindi tayo nalilito masyado, no? So, with that, let's just distribute this negative dito sa ating r. 
So in that case, this is q over 4 pi. Since madidistribute siya, magbabaliktad ngayon yung ating expression. So 1 over r sub 1 na to, and then 1 r sub 2 na itong isa. Okay? So malinaw dapat sa inyo na since na-distribute to, this one becomes negative and this one becomes positive. And then that is equal to, so this is negative k and then t2 minus t1. If you want to um, distribute this further, this becomes k t1 minus t2. But I'll not do it anymore. So, so to give you the final answer, then we have the heat rate q that is equal to 4 pi and then negative 4 pi multiplied with k and then t2 minus t1 divided by 1 over r sub 1 minus 1 over r sub 2. So this is the final equation for our hollow cylinder, ah sorry, hollow sphere. So don't forget it now. Basta once na meron kayong formula na makalimutan, you can just simply derive it using the Fourier equation. And this becomes more complicated kapag meron tayong materials na irregular shape. For example, a truncated prism or a truncated, tra um, ano ba ba? truncated pyramid. So, yun nga. So, I'll be giving you an example for this. Okay?